Okay. Yes. Right here. One, one, one second, one second. Let's, I'll put it in there. Welcome. One second, Macy. I'm, I'm on live. Um, once you place a trade, how do you manage it? You have to be able to... What's up? Give me a second. I'm on live. All right, give me a second. Um, once you place a trade, how do you manage it? You got to pretty much just make sure that the direction of bias is maintaining for what you're expecting, which means that you got to actively analyze and make sure things are being maintained for the direction that you're actually trying to you know, go into, you know, it's, it's kind of easy to maintain a trade. You, you just got to have a, a really, really good technical analysis and candidate analysis type of, of background or experience to do so. Simple. Do I trade any particular session? Well, the sessions are based on the peers that, that I trade, you know what I'm saying? So um, I trade GJ, I trade US 30, which means that more than likely I trade NY session a lot. Um, and which means that on GJ also, GJ also moves a lot in London session. So London session through NY session is probably the go-to, you know? Have I tried trading with a hedge fund for what? I have my own money. Why do I? Why do I need a hedge fund? Or why do I need? No, I'm good. If you work for a hedge fund, you're you're literally getting a portion of profits versus versus trading for yourself and getting all the profits. That's what it is. So, which broker do I use? I use KOT. <laughs> I use KOT Forex for um for the past like year and a couple months now. So yeah, that's that's what I use. <laughs> Come here. My bad. That's a lot of freaking questions. Um. What's the win to loss ratio on the Wall Street Academy app? I think it's, I think it's around 60%. I think it's around 60%. But um, it's, 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 it's weird because um, some of the loss trades were in profit a lot. And then it went negative and whatnot. So I feel like um, um, so yeah, I feel like the Wall Street Academy trailers have like around 60%. But the, the loss trades were still in profit a good amount. Even though it still lost those trades, it was still in profit a good amount. So I feel like it still counts. You know what I'm saying? Um, smart traders could have definitely took profit when they were in, in profit on, on certain orders that eventually hit the stop loss. But um, yeah, so I'll probably say like 60%, 70%, somewhere around there. But it's, de it's definitely up a lot more pips than, than it is negative, which is the, the cool thing. So, you know, those that, that could benefit, benefit. Those that can't, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Teach zone, you know? Whatever. Yeah, I, I don't really try to, you know, persuade people too too much to do shit, you know, to each his own. Come here, come. Um, daily things you did to perfect your, your craft. What do you do if you play basketball and you want to perfect your craft and go to the NBA one day? What, what do you do? You're going to practice. You're going to be out on the court late nights practicing. You're going to be shooting every day. You're going to be doing the same shit. This, this craft is literally like the same thing as like any other thing that you want to get good at. But it's just... You're going to be on the charts a lot more and studying a lot more and practicing your entries a lot more. And that kind of shit. It's, it's, it's the same thing. Nothing changed. 
just a, just a different craft and you got to apply the same work ethic people think this is so different but it's really not though it's literally just like anything else that you want to get good at do i trade nasdaq um i don't actually but it's like about 70 to 80 percent correlated to us 30 which is pretty cool but um i don't trade it though i don't What happened to the torch? I lost too much money. I wasn't having, um, you know, people, you know, to save my money around that time period, so I just ended it. Oh God, this is so funny. On talking options, go watch Q how he manipulates MP4. Y'all are fucking idiots. <laughs> Like, I had, made, I had made a post the other day, all right? I was like, yo, listen. I had made a post the other day. There you go. I had made a post the other day, right? And um, I'm like, yo, listen. People are fucking bored. Because, like, first things first, right? Oh my god, his cars are, are leased. Oh my god. Come on. Shows that you, you can't leave, um, lease a, a, a Lamborghini SV. That's for one. Um, oh my god, Q trades demo. And then, you know, I'll always be like, yo, live account. Oh my god, god, up 400 and something thousand. Okay, what else? Oh, Q, um, Q ma manipulates the market. Shit, show me how I could do that. <laughs> show me how, please. <laughs> that should be crazy. <laughs> oh, um, Q photoshops his um his 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 MP4 profits. Shit, I want to get good at friggin' photoshopping. You know what I'm saying? Let me know how how that shit goes. Um. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yo, y'all, y'all just come up with with new shit every time. It's crazy. <laughs> like, yo, the fact that people really be thinking of this, I'm like, yo, like, y'all got this much time to think of all this shit. Listen, I, I wish I, I, I knew how to fucking manipulate the markets and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? That shit would be lit. I can't lie. You know, <laughs> but. I don't. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> um, you know? But yeah, people are fucking weird. It's, 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 a weird, it's some weird ass people. Um, tips on managing risk. Your risk is based off your experience and precision. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it's very, it's like a very subjective um topic because the risk is based off the person's experience the person off, off the person's um precision you know and and yeah so like it's it's really based on each on each person so it's not really anything particular too too much yeah facts it is it is US 30 been bouncing off the strong resistance level. Not not really actually. It pretty much already broke all the well the support levels actually. So with US 30, um the point is this. You can't expect it to actually turn around now if things are not getting better. You know what I'm saying? All the articles and whatnot are showing you that it's getting worse as far as the coronavirus and whatnot. The businesses, the investors don't want to actually invest back into certain stocks because they don't feel um, strongly that the business should be opening right now. Um, it's a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you gotta just have all that insight to actually make you more, more confident, you know? Make you more confident about the direction of bias for this entire move right here, so. <laughs> my, my boy says, it's easy to, m to manipulate the markets. 
All you need is, is a couple trillion dollars. I have a couple trillion. I don't have that yet. You know what I'm saying? But um, Jeff Pace, um, from Jeff Bezos definitely has that though. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not there yet. But what? You know, when I get there, you know, that would be pretty cool though. How am I up four hundred thousand in this calm? I mean, I mean, you have to be shit like. You can't be stuck to the charts 24-7, you know what I'm saying? You gotta kinda just go on with your day, you know, trust your analysis and keep on flowing. Find more entries, you know. Yeah. What do you need? What do you need? Here, yeah. Here, play back. Play with your parts. Go ahead. Perfect. She want your parts. What What is the smallest account you've grown in over what time period? I mean, I've, I've done many small accounts. I've done a thousand to seventy four thousand in a week. I've done a thousand four hundred to fifty thousand in a week. I mean, it's it's a bunch, honestly. So it's like it's over time. You you have different accounts that you pretty much grew. When is the next webinar for students? I literally just did four webinars last week. I'm not doing any webinars for the next month. I did four webinars on, on last week. Stop being lazy and, and get on the on webinar section. You have team team um, gold, silver, black, white webinars. Fucking study. Hold it on to the reason. Facts. Yeah. Yes. Simple as that. <clears> Hope <throat> oh, she doesn't eat, eat the AirPod. No, 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 no. She's not that crazy. I think. Hold up. Let me take out the AirPods. Actually. Her. She doesn't know the difference. Show again your your definitely. Okay, no problem. Hold up. So this is it. No more boom. KLC Black. Oh, it's kind of shadowy. Whatever. Whatever. Boom boom. All my charts and four hundred eleven thousand. A lot of pips. This and that. Daily time frame. H four time frame. M thirty time frame. And back to me. Now, Silver's birthday actually is on the 24th, so it's coming up real soon. What is my account size? Enough. People that, that, that doubt just aren't where they want to be in life. So, I mean, you know, they're just, they're just some sad people. How long took me to, to make today's profits? Um, what was it? Yesterday and today. Yesterday and today. Um, yeah, yesterday I took home entries and i scaled in this morning so yeah so like yesterday and today so like about 48 hours just about do you use traders way bro you must be stuck in 2015 or 2016. been left traders way man Um, SPX 500, I mean, it's not too far off as far as correlation to US 30. 
Um, you gotta still read a lot of articles and a lot of you know insight for your fundamental analysis and that kind of stuff. But I mean, like it's it's um yeah, it, it shouldn't be too far off to US thirty, but you gotta be real in tune with the stock market and whatnot. I know you got speeding tickets. I, I literally have no speeding tickets, actually. I, I don't speed. How long did it take you to finally start making profits from a newbie? Um, I hit my first thousand dollar day, like my fourth month of trading. My, my, my first thousand dollar day, I hit in four months. Um, yeah, four, four or five months of trading. Um, I was coming out of college, like a college class, actually, like um, sociology. And I hit my thousand dollar day. I think I was on AU. Yeah. But remember that, that that's four or five months, but um that's four or five months trading every single day. So four or five months. You use FIBS to maintain a trade, everything I do is is in Wall Street Academy. Let's go in Wall Street Academy. Will you still come to Costa Rica? I mean, I was supposed to come to Costa Rica before the virus stuff. Um, luckily, I didn't because they actually shut down, you know, their um, borders and whatnot, like, you know, before I actually flew out. So, yeah. But, um, I mean, let's see what happens, you know? I'm still down. Like, I'm, I'm going to be doing, like, about two more five-day courses before I actually end it. Um, so, let's see how things play out. I'm, I'm not too sure when those five-day courses are going to be. But, you know, once everything is pretty much has gone over, that's when actually I'll schedule the two, the two final five day courses and we can just go about it that way. But for right now, I have no, no five day courses, just the online course. And um, the online course still has the valid discount code um, for $125 off. And the code is COVID-19. Um, go figure, right? Why not? So the, the entire quarantine, I'm keeping that coupon code active just so people that's gonna be at home can actually can learn a, a new skill set you know, for, for the meantime, since they're gonna be at home. So that's why I kept it active. So it's $125 off the main Wall Street Academy course. Um, and the coupon code is COVID-19, C-O-V-I-D-19-1-9. Can my online course make someone a consistent profitable trader? That's the main course for a reason. If that's a, if that's a clear case, then I would have said the five-day course is the main course. But the five-day course is not the main course. The online course is the main course. Uh, do I have clients in South, in South Africa? Of course, a bunch. A bunch of students in South, South Africa, it's crazy. How did I gain capital to start trading? Business, investing, investing, investing. You know, that's what you gotta do. Why does everyone who trades have a course? Because they fucking wanna have a course, so the fuck? That's it, you know, trading gets boring, you know? So you gotta just, you know, find other shit to fucking do. Yeah, like you have to be able to invest, 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 invest along the way also because even like when it comes to like these big crypto moves also, you got to be able to actually understand that to, to benefit from those kind of moves also, which is pretty dope. Yeah, the, yeah, the first big crypto move, um, actually caught a good amount of it on, um, what was it, um, Bitcoin, um, also on... Redcoin, also on XRP, 
Um, those were the main ones that I was investing into like around 2016, 2017 with that big crypto move that happened. So yeah, that shit was lit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, like on um, the the on BTC move, man. Listen, like I'm trying to get ready for that BTC move. Like, that's just, that's just gonna be crazy. So like, even if BTC goes up to fifteen thousand, sixteen thousand, trust me, that's just gonna be crazy. So I'm trying to actually still look at BTC to a certain extent, so I could actually get in at a good time and um, you know, ride a wave. How many trades did it take me to go from 1,000 to, to 74,000? That was about, I, I think, it was about like 14 trades or, I have the screenshot. The screenshot is, is, is on my um, on my profile. So the scroll back and um, all the trades are there. But I think it's under 15 trades though. It was, it was a very, very fast build. It was, it was crazy. It was, it was when XRP was moving crazily. Like it was going from, um, I think I, the last one I caught from XRP was um, $1.10 and I had two lots and that kind of shit. So like that's when I was moving like big spikes and whatnot. So like I was making like two, three thousand dollars each trade. Um, and yeah, it took me from like a Thursday to Thursday of one week to like the Wednesday or Thursday of the following week. So it was it was intense. But yeah, so appreciate everybody for, for coming on. I'm about to just get off real quick, you know what I'm saying? Sip on this, sip on this champagne, this champagne name. So thanks everybody for coming on. Um, I might have saved a lot. I'm not sure yet, you know what I'm saying? But if anybody actually re recorded it, just upload it on YouTube or some shit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm um, that would be dope. So I'm holla at y'all. Peace out, peace out, peace out.